Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve best time to buy and sell stock, lead code number 121. Now you're given an array of prices where each price is at I is the price of a given stock on the ith day. And you want to maximize your profit by choosing one single day to buy the stock and choosing a different day in the future to sell that stock. So we're greedy, so you want to return the maximum profit that you can achieve from this transaction. If you can't achieve any profit, then just return zero because you can't make any money. Okay. So so if you get this array of prices here, 715364, well, you could buy it at seven, but then that's the highest price. So if you were to sell it on any of these days, well, then you're actually going to lose money. But if you buy at this one here, okay, well, you can't sell it at seven and make six profit because if you bought it here, this day has already passed. You can't sell it over here. But if you buy it here, you could sell it here to make four. Or if you bought it here, you could sell it here to make two. Or most importantly, if you bought it here, you could sell it here to make a profit of six minus one, which is five. And the max amount of profit you could get is that, which is five. Now, before we worry about an optimized solution here, we can come up with the brute force pretty easily. You just need to look at all possible pairs of days. So we'd have to buy it at one index, which I'll call I, and we'd have to sell it at a later index, which I'll call J. And if you look at all possible pairs of I and J, then you could just try and find the maximum profit. So if you set max profit to equal the float of negative infinity saying so far you know we have not made any money at all well then for i in the range of the length of the prices this is our buying point for j in the range of i plus one so i is your buying index j is your selling index started at i plus one and go up again until the end here we'll say profit is equal to the prices at j minus prices at i so your selling point minus your buying point here here. If that profit is greater than zero, then you want to set max profit equal to the maximum of itself and that current profit. You only want to set max profit to be that profit if it's better than what we've seen before. So if we look at all of these, you can almost just return your max profit, except it still could be the float of negative infinity, basically meaning that you did not find any profit. So we'll return max profit if the max profit is greater than the float of negative infinity. Otherwise, you just want to set it to zero, meaning we didn't find any profit. So we can run that and that is going to work. However, that's not going to pass our test cases because this has a time complexity of big O of N squared because we have a nested for loop. We look at all of the days we could buy it and then all of the later days that we could sell it. So that is a time of O of N squared. Luckily, it does have a space of O of one, which is nice. However, we can do a lot better than that. So let's go visualize a better solution. Now, the idea is to keep track of two different variables we'll call one max profit basically the exact same thing we just saw with the previous max profit and it's actually a little easier just to set this to zero than to infinity therefore it has a default at zero and the other thing you'd be interested in is the minimum price that we've seen so far so we'll just call that minimum price and we're going to set that just to infinity then we're going to iterate over the array and see that we have a price of seven is that a better price than our min price we're currently at infinity so seven is a lot better so the next one here we see one is that a smaller minimum price yes it is and so we're going to mark that as one over here at five that is not smaller than our minimum price if our current price is five and we've already previously seen the minimum price of one well then we could actually get the profit of four and so that profit of four is better than the max profit we've seen so far which is nothing so we should update that to be four now, when we look at the next number, we see three. Okay, well, we could buy it at one and sell it at three. So that would be three minus one, which is equal to two in profit. Well, that's not better than our max profit. So we're not going to use that one. We move over and see six. Okay, we could buy it at one and sell it at six. So six minus one is equal to five. That is a better max profit. And so we would mark this as a five. And when we get to the final value here, four, that would be a profit of buying it at one and selling it at four. So four minus one is equal to three. That's not any better. So we'd return five. The algorithm is pretty simple. We just keep track of the minimum price we've seen and try to see if we can come up with a better profit. 
Okay, so this solution we'll write will have a big O of n time complexity. We're just really looping through the prices and its space will also be O of one. We really don't need to store any data structures. So we're gonna get a min price, which is currently equal to just infinity. So the biggest value we could see and we'll get the max profit that we've seen is currently at zero. That way, since it defaults at zero, if we actually couldn't get any better profit, then we would just return zero. Okay, then we just say for each price in the prices, if the price is less than the min price, then the min price is going to equal the price. The potential profit is equal to the current price that we're looking at minus our min price. So we'd want to buy it at the smallest value we've seen so far, and we might want to sell it at that current price. If this profit is greater than the max profit that we've seen, then you want max profit to equal that profit. That's really all there is to it. You would return the max profit at the end. And if you're to run that, it's going to be significantly faster than our brute force solution. We're going to fly through everything. And there you go, guys. Drop a like if this was helpful. I hope it was and have a great day. Bye bye.